later, business at the Hyatt Regency in Kansas City is back to normal, and the hotel lobby has become something of a tourist attraction. It took $5 million to rebuild the Hyatt lobby. The skywalks that collapsed, replaced by a balcony anchored by pillars mounted in bedrock. What was projected as a three-year business turnaround has taken only one, according to hotel officials. The music of Steve Miller's trio is in the Hyatt lobby once again. It was Miller's band that was playing for the tea dance last July 17th. Hundreds of people on the dance floor. Others gathered on the skywalks for an overhead view. Skywalks described later as time bombs waiting to explode. A faulty design in violation of the Kansas City building codes, according to a study by the National Bureau of Standards. Skywalks suspended by hanging rods, barely able to support their own weight, let alone people. One person too many, the investigator said, and the bolts of the hanging rods ripped through the box beam supports, the two skywalks collapsing. In an instant, 114 people dead, some 200 injured in the nation's worst building disaster. David Garcia, ABC News, Kansas City.